Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. So today is Monday, September 27th, and it's currently 4 10 p.m. So I have a topic video for you all, um, but it is a shorter topic so I am going to just show you guys a little bit more of okay I can't do this I can't okay okay so it's really just my top retainer that makes me sound funny so I just took it out I couldn't do it however back to the video so like I was saying this is a sh shorter topic video and I don't want the video to be too short because I feel like when I make shorter videos I feel like what's the point so I am going to just show you guys a little bit more of Scarlett's detail so you guys can see that. And I do want to say that I do have the ring light on. You guys can probably tell because my lighting is not too great. But with my camera, if I do not have the ring light on, it will not pick up any of the details and it would just look weird. So in order for my cameras to actually pick up and have good quality, I do have to have good lighting. And the only way I can get that is with the ring light. Uh, with my phone, on the other hand, if I were to record on my phone, I wouldn't need the ring light every time I record it necessarily. So I do just want to get that out the way that I am using a ring light right now. This video is a topic video. Um, I will be putting a time right here where if you don't want to watch this part you don't have to so i will put a time right here where the video starts on the topic and um that's on the screen right now if you want to fast forward it and just go ahead and get straight to the point that is okay so the time is or was on the screen wherever it starts at with me talking about the topic but now i'm just going to show you guys real born claudia's details and um sorry that the babies are like kind of on like a weird angle i don't let my silicone and my reborns touch so technically this boppy is only for my silicone baby. I don't put any of the other babies on there because they're not supposed to touch each other. He's more fragile so this is his own personal boppy but I did want to include him for this video because I know a lot of you guys do enjoy seeing him and I love that so much. But um, here is Realborn Claudia. I just want to give you guys a few more details. So this baby is 17 inches and okay I'm actually going to move oh i'm gonna move the silicone yeah let me just i'm sorry guys i'm working with a little space today so it's kind of hard for me to move back and forth sometimes i'm just gonna put him right here in the back safe right there and we're gonna just put claudia in here for the meantime so again this is Roborn claudia she is the asleep version I actually have not saw the awake version of this baby, but I'm pretty sure that it's super cute. Um, she or he has full limbs, so full arms, so they can wear like sleeveless onesies. And then full legs for shorts. So here are the leggies. This baby is in an African-American skin tone. And fits newborn best, but if you want, you could put... If you wanted to put this baby in preemie clothes, you could if you just want a little snug. Me, personally, I don't like my baby clothes to be too tight on them, especially um, vinyl babies or silicone babies. You guys know sometimes with different colors, it can stain the baby. And that way that nothing happens to the baby, I just put them in, like, not the size up, but if I feel like a size is too small, then I would put them in you know, the next up size. So this baby could fit preemie or newborn. As you guys can see, this is a newborn outfit from Carter's and fits it perfectly. Like, look how cute. Another thing I wanted to show you guys is this baby is super floppy. I made the head super floppy. I wanted it to flop back like a real newborn. And this baby is super cuddly and poseable. Like, let me show you guys how floppy the baby is. Like, as soon as you pick the baby up, the head goes back. <laughs> and then this baby is super cuddly I had um took a little bit of stuffing out at the top to give it more of that cuddle factor and I really like the baby having like less stuffing at the top as well as um it makes the baby more poseable and this baby is not only super cuddly super poseable 
like so poseable and looks so real and I was just admiring this baby earlier today it's just so cute can move his arms anywhere as well as his legs and again he does have full arm and full legs this baby can go home as a boy or a girl whoever buys this baby will get a chance to choose here's the baby's hair it's so messy guys I know his hair is so messy but has a head full of black curved mohair and I love that feature about this baby so yeah that's um reborn claudia sleep super cute and cuddly baby and super posable and um yeah so if anyone is interested in a fair price to baby then go ahead and let me know by commenting down below or dming on instagram or emailing me everything is linked in the description so yeah that's Roborn claudia painted rooted everything by me this baby will come with a small nice box opening and as well as scarlet i still have scarlet for sale and scarlet is 230 dollars free shipping but if you purchase her on Mercari, she is a little more. Same with Claudia. If you purchase Claudia on Mercari, she is a little bit more on there. And then she will be if you purchase her directly from me. So I think that is all that I had to say about Wilborn Claudia. Oh, she does have a magnet in her mouth for a pacifier. But yeah, this baby can go home as a boy or girl. Let me know in the comments what you see if you see a boy or girl. At first, I couldn't decide, but now I definitely see a baby boy with this baby. Now, let's go ahead and get on to what today's video is about. The difference between reborns and realborns. So, there has been more exposure to the reborn community in the past two to three years than when I originally joined. And so you may have questions if you're new to the community. You may see a real born and say, what does that mean? What is that? Or you may see a reborn and you're like, what's the difference between a reborn and a real born? So I am here to explain the difference between anyone who just doesn't know or if you're new and you want to learn more, this is perfect for you. So there isn't too much of a difference between the Reborns and the Realborns. They both are real authentic kits. They're real Reborns. They're not fake kits. They both are legitimate. So that is the good thing. There may be a little difference in the vinyl, which you wouldn't be able to tell. Only artists can tell when they receive them as a blank kit and paint them. Um, so many other collectors, you wouldn't know the difference between the vinyl. Because I know I didn't know there was a difference between the vinyl. Um, until I started painting so you wouldn't really notice a difference between the real born vinyl versus like any other reborn vinyl just because it's only a difference between like the material and then um the color of the vinyl so like I said only most artists can tell the difference between them so you guys are like okay well why is one called reborn and why one is called real born like what's the difference so a real born is a replica of a real baby so the only difference is regular reborns are hand sculpted and the realborns are a 3D print of a real baby. And the realborns are made to look like a specific baby. So they take the machine and they scan the baby and they get that 3D print and ta-da, your kit is done. So they just scan it, they use a 3D scanner, they scan a real baby and that is how they produce their kits. So Claudia here is a realborn and any of my other babies um, I have Levi by Bonnie Brown. I have Gertie by Laura Lee Eagles. I have more babies, but those two are who you guys are familiar with on my channel here. But there's literally no difference between them. One is just a real born. The reason why they're called real borns is because they're taken from a real baby and they're made into a reborn. So again, there's nothing different about the babies being a reborn or a real born. And I know the name is kind of like, well, one says real born, so reborns are fake and no, they're not. They're just a difference in the name. The only place that sells real born kits is Bountiful Baby. They're the ones who made it up. They're the ones who produce it. And um, yeah, so if you're looking for a real born kit or like 
one like this baby in right here, then you will have to go on Bountiful Baby. There's no other site that sells Realborns except for Bountiful Baby. And I think Realborns are really neat because you can see the real baby of who this baby is sculpted after. And I think that is really, really cool since this baby was made after the real baby. So, you know, that's the only difference between it. And I hope that this video did help some of you guys who are new or just confused or you just simply don't know what the difference is. And you keep hearing it and you're like, why is no one explaining it? So that's just my simple topic video for today. I needed to put something out. And since I haven't been getting any video requests, I decided to go through my notes and see all of the different topic video ideas that I had saved in and this one was super easy and quick to do so I was like I'm just gonna do it so again this baby is for sale he or she is saying please take me home with you super cute look how cute super tiny but this baby is actually a good size you guys know me I don't bond too well with um small babies but I would not mind keeping this baby in my collection I need a newborn girl except for now this baby looks more as a baby boy to me so it wouldn't work out with me searching for a newborn girl but yeah this baby is so cute and it's perfect for if you wanted to um for a birthday gift or a Christmas gift whatever you celebrate or have coming up I feel like this baby would be perfect as well as Scarlett and I have tons of references. I've sold plenty of babies since I've been in the community. I've sold like so many babies. All I got was positive feedback, not to toot my own horn, but I feel like I am a pretty good seller. So that is Realborn Claudia. Again, if you guys have any questions about her or anything else or anything else you just wanna know about the Reborn community or something you heard and you don't know what it is, I know. There's like a lot of slang and abbreviation in the Reborn community. So maybe I can do a video of that. Or if you just have like a simple question, just let me know by commenting down below. Or if you want me to make a video on anything, just let me know. Um, I might make a, re a video of Reborn Claudia on my phone. Just so you guys can see her a little better. Because I know the uh, ring light doesn't really do her coloring justice i don't think i have anything else to say um except for i do have a new uploading schedule instead of me uploading three to five times a week and on random days i'm going to be uploading wednesday fridays saturdays and sundays i hope that's not too much for you guys i know i get overwhelmed when i see someone posting like 10 videos a week or two or three videos on one day or every day I know I get a little overwhelmed and I'm like, I don't want to watch this. I'm behind. So I don't want to make you guys feel like you're going to get behind on my videos. That's why I did not want to do five videos a week anymore. That way you guys can just get caught up on my videos. Get caught up on them on Monday and Tuesdays and Thursdays. You can get caught up on them. So I hope it's not too overwhelming. If you guys feel like I should do maybe three videos a week, that is fine by me. Just let me know what you guys think of this new uploading schedule because I'm going to try it out and see how it does, especially with the algorithm because my videos haven't been doing too well. We'll see how it goes. So let me know what you guys think of this new uploading schedule and if it fits with you or if you feel like it's too much, I'm posting too much, let me know and I'll bring it down to three videos a week i don't want to do two videos a week because i feel like youtube will stop showing my videos on you guys' feed and recommending them because i'm a smaller channel so it's hard for me to not do too much of like no videos so i don't want to do two videos a week but i will be happy to do three videos a week if you guys feel like four videos is too much because i did feel like five videos was too much i was posting monday wednesday friday saturday and sunday and i just felt like whoa that is a lot of videos back to back and I know if I was watching someone and they were posting that much I would not be able to keep up especially with, you know if you have work or school or you just have a simply busy life that you won't be able to keep up so let me know how Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday works for you guys and if not I will probably do maybe Wednesday Saturday Sunday or maybe Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, or Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, or Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know? So just let me know what you guys think. 
And I am going to take you guys off the tripod so you guys can get a better look at the baby. And then I'm going to be leaving because this video is already long enough. Okay, so I just took you guys off the tripod. Like, look how cute Wilborn Claudia is. And I was trying to make this baby a baby girl. But as you guys can see, I think this baby is all boy. So that's why I added the blue scratch mittens and then no headband for this baby. So... Yeah, and then here's this baby boy right here. He's just chilling. He's like, is this how the other kids feel when they I have the body and they don't? And, um, yes. <laughs> so, that is it for this video. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me at my underscore reborns. Check out my Macy's. I have not fixed the link to that yet, and I know I said I will check on it, but I forgot. <laughs> um, go ahead and join my membership if you haven't joined already. I have exclusive content on there, including me rooting um, Claudia's hair, 